Hi, this is Eric Bart Sockton, and today we're going to show you how to replace the motor run capacitor on your Whirlpool washer. These instructions also apply to other Whirlpool Corporation brands, including Maytag, Amana, and more. If you need to purchase a new motor run capacitor for your Whirlpool washer, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Here at Parts Doctor, we only sell authentic, genuine parts sourced directly from the manufacturer. The washing machine's motor run capacitor assists the motor in starting and running smoothly, providing necessary electronic boosts for efficient operation. If the motor run capacitor fails, the washing machine may have symptoms such as the motor not starting, motor running slowly or struggling to maintain speed, or a humming sound without spinning. For this repair, disconnect power and water to the washer. Be careful when working with appliances capacitors as they can cause electrical shock if not discharged or handled properly. If you'd like to learn how to discharge your appliances capacitor, you can check our video exploring how to do that linked in the description below. For this repair, you'll need access to the bottom of the washer, so you'll want to flip it onto its front on a soft surface to avoid scratching or damaging it. Make sure you grab an extra pair of hands when doing so to avoid injury. Gently depress the locking tabs on the electrical connector and pull to disconnect. Then gently work the wires free from the bracket of the capacitor. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the screw holding the capacitor to the gear case, being careful not to drop the screw. If you need to purchase a new motor run capacitor, you can check our website, PartsDoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your appliance to make sure you're getting the right part. To install, align the motor run capacitor to the gear case and install the screw. Then, align the wiring harness to the capacitor's bracket and secure it in place. Next, reconnect the electrical connector. Now, flip the washer back upright and reconnect the water and power to it to run the factory calibration cycle. To run the cycle, make sure the washer is in standby mode with all the LEDs off and the lid closed. Then, press key 1, key 2, key 1, key 2 within 8 seconds of each other, with key 1 being temp and key 2 being rinse on our model of washer. The washer then will confirm that it has entered service mode by all the LEDs blinking one time, and then the lid will lock. Then rotate the encoder knob one step. Then press all the keys one through six. When successfully completing, the lid will unlock. Next, open and close the lid to initialize the factory cycle. When the cycle is running, do not disturb the washer or remove power, or you will need to restart the process. The cycle will run from 2 to 4 minutes, you will know when the cycle completes when the LEDs turn off and the lid unlocks. That's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.